In this tutorial we will discuss Victor Meyer method to test primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. Let's take three test tubes containing primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. These all alcohols have same color so it's hard to say which one is which alcohol by just looking. So we have to test these alcohols by any specific alcohol test. To test these alcohols we can use Vector Myers test and in this method these alcohol is treated with red phosphorus and iodine, an alkyl halide is formed as shown in the figure. Then this treated solution is further treated with silver nitrite to produce the nitroalkane as shown in figure. The nitrous acid is added in this treated solution as shown in figure. Then finally the solution is treated with sodium hydroxide as shown in figure. Now we can see three different colors for primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. The blood red color indicates primary alcohol. As we all know that the alcohol in which the carbon atom bonded with O group is further bonded with one or none other carbon atom is called primary alcohol. For example methanol, ethanol, etc., and the blue color indicates secondary alcohol and we all know that the alcohol in which the carbon atom bonded with O group is further bonded with two other carbon atoms is called secondary alcohol. For example propan 2 ol and there is no coloration for tertiary alcohol and we all know that the alcohol in which the carbon atom bonded with O group is further bonded with three other carbon atoms is called tertiary alcohol. For example, 2 methyl propan 2 ol This is the chart containing all the reactions and procedures for the detection of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol. You can see this also and from this figure also we can get idea that the red color indicates primary alcohol, blue color indicates secondary alcohol and there is no coloration for tertiary alcohol.